So what does translational research mean to me? Well, ultimately, it means solving clinical problems. I mean, it's really that simple. And uh, so you have to know what that clinical problem is that you're trying to solve. Uh, and you have to then uh, identify the product that you believe can solve that problem. So for a diagnostic, you need to decide, is it a molecular problem? Is it a molecular tool that I need to solve the particular problem? So I can give an example of how uh, for HIV viral load or HCV viral load or HBV viral load, um, the problem there was how do you identify response to treatments of drugs? So you had to identify how you had to develop products that could look at the viral target and show how that viral levels went down in response to drug therapy. And that has been hugely valuable, not now of course for monitoring patients, but initially also for drug development. We could not develop drugs without having that, if you like, that virological biomarker that your drug was working or not. It's a gap very often between the initial uh, discovery of a biomarker and then um, how you use that clinically. So I think the important thing for translational research is to start at the problem and work backwards, not to start uh, at the technology and go forward.